we have left the beaten track to go and look at this old tree stump. Looks like it could be quite interesting. A mammal of some sort often sits on that broken root there because it's quite oily. Also, it's obvious woodpeckers feed here a lot by looking at all these holes on this branch here. We do a stake out for a few hours and we see what turns up. Recently fledged blue tit passing through. Here's the woodpecker. It's a greater spotted woodpecker. One of this year's youngsters. You can tell that by the red cap on top of his head. When they mature it's just the male that has a bit of red on top of his head. It's only a small bit. But it's quite a large cap of red the youngsters have. Obviously a favourite feeding spot. Here's another one. It's got a grub or something. field vole there running around. Mind you the ride's only five metres behind me. There's plenty of grass there. Sure it should be a good home here in this stump. That's a young in there. A dear little thing, isn't it? Beautiful little thing. Things don't come much cuter than that, do they? Voles are exceptional climbers when they're young. There's no weight to them. Blimey, there's a blooming wood mouse attacking them. Here's 
it's probably his territory and he's, I expect he's trying to drive them out. We could do some serious damage to the youngsters, I expect. There we have it. King of the Stump. That little one needs to be careful. He could get bitten or worse. That's it, you go and hide. I can see he's polishing up that broken root now. The oil from his uh, fur. Probably cleans himself there. The wood mouse, or long-tailed field mouse, their eyes always look a bit surreal to me. He's probably got a hole under the stump, could be as much as a meter deep. You can be certain he drove the voles out. Cool, he just fell then. That's a rare sight. I spent a year filming these once and didn't ever see one slip once. Woodpecker's back. You won't see any small mammals while she's feeding. Woodpeckers have really stiff tail feathers, helps them with their balance. This rotten wood is just perfect for um, woodpeckers, especially the young ones, to find food. There's three types of woodpeckers you would find in the Winterbourne Valley. Greater spotted woodpecker, that's this one. The lesser spotted and the um, green woodpecker. The lesser spotted is my favourite. He's um, about the same size as a sparrow. Oh, 
Oh, he didn't realise the stump was hollow inside. I, I do now. Keeps going around the back of the stump. I have to wait for him to reappear. I'm hoping to see him pull out something interesting to eat for us to watch. Who's this creeping in? Grey squirrel. He's probably spotted the uh, woodpeckers feeding from the treetops and thinks he's missing out on summer. Caught the woodpecker by surprise. That's one nil to the squirrel. Creeping up on the squirrel's tail. He's not going to do what I think he's going to do. <laughs> That's got to be one all. Squirrel's making for high ground. So we can have a better look at it. See what he's up to. That's it, you driving off. Go on, get out of it. Two ones the woodpecker.